Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to The Blessed Place. This is a video response to Just Want to Laugh. She has a video up entitled, No Sex Until. She's decided to um, take a vow of celibacy until she finds a committed relationship. And she's asked other ladies to join in. Well, ladies, I am no longer celibate, but I was. I was celibate for 13 years. Yes, I was. And if you will allow me to, I'd like to offer you ladies five suggestions for your consideration. Number one, have no confidence in the flesh. Believe me, your flesh is not in agreement with the decision that you made. So don't expect it to cooperate. So you can't have any confidence in the flesh because believe me, it is going to act up and it is not going to be in cooperation with the program. Number two, stay busy, enjoying life, travel, find your passion, read books, um, date, enjoy your girlfriends, I mean, but enjoy life, you know, don't sit at home um, dwelling on the fact that you're celibate. Or dwelling on the fact that you haven't found um, the relationship that you want. Number three, take pride in celibacy. Um, it's empowering to make the decision to be celibate. Because where we lose our power is when we give in to our sexual urges. Or when we think that we have to have sex in order to get a man or we think we have to have sex in order to hold on to a man but it is empowering when you make the decision to control your sexual urges when you make the decision that you are going to treasure what you have and that you're not just going to give it away to anybody that you are going to give it to who you deem deserving. So that's empowering. Number four, take this time to discover that you are more than just a sexual being. And take this time to discover who not discover, I would say take this time to separate the men from the boys. Yeah, take this time to separate the men from the boys. Because a real man is going to want to learn the essence of who you are. And this is a good time for a real man to get to know you without the sexual component. The boys don't expect them to hang around. But that's why celibacy is so empowering because it separates the men from the boys. And lastly, you gotta have some type of spiritual foundation. For me, it was prayer. Because like I said in number one, the flesh is not going to be in cooperation with this plan. So you are going to have to pray or meditate or find some type of spiritual um, connection. So those are my five suggestions and I hope they help you ladies. And... I know that it can be done. I am a living testimony of what God can do. Alright, y'all be blessed and good luck ladies.